Tanks usually have turrets, and turrets have guns. Fiat 6614 skipped the middle part. It has a gun right on top of its hull. In theory, that means you can stick out only the gun barrel over the cover, this way even if it gets hit by opponent's shell, you won't lose any crew members. In practice, you will lose crew members in every other possible way. Fiat is Italian light tank that doesn't need a turret because its gun barrel can do all turrets functions on its own, which is rotate. Cannon rotates at speed of 10 degrees per second. That is very slow. Even heavy tanks can rotate turrets faster. Additionally, gun is very close to hull and that has its own disadvantages. First of all, proximity of vehicle's roof obstructs vertical guidance. If gun's depression is good, minus 9 degrees, which allows you to use hills for cover, elevation is extremely small, only 12 degrees. But most importantly, if there is something sticking out of the vehicle's roof, that will be an obstacle to the gun's barrel. And there is something sticking out. When your barrel turns to the left, you won't be able to lower your gun, and that will get you killed. When your barrel turns to the right, you won't be able to elevate your gun, and that will get you killed as well. So despite you have the ability to rotate weaponry without having a turret, you will still be forced to adjust your positioning by moving a whole vehicle. And considering that Fiat is a wheeled vehicle, you will need to move either forward or backwards to do that. And that is not always possible where you don't have enough space. Just like most wheeled vehicles, it can reach high speed on a good road. In practice, you won't stay on roads that much. But even then, it easily accelerates to 40 kph and above. Though, once you hit soft terrain, all the speed can drop significantly. Fiat's hull is made of 8mm thick plates. Because it's so thin, APHE shells won't activate inside killing all your crew members. Instead, shells will penetrate a whole tank killing all your crew members. Since penetrating thin steel doesn't create that much spalling, it can actually save you sometimes, but in practice this armor protects only from low caliber machine guns. That puts you in very bad position when opponents have planes. Because of inability to elevate gun, you become easy prey who cannot fight back. The only secondary gun you have can shoot 5 bullets before it needs to be reloaded. The purpose of such machine gun is to use bullets instead of rangefinder when shooting distant targets as bullet speed is pretty much the same as ammunition for main gun, around 500 meters per second. Though because of huge mass difference, they will have different ballistic trajectories anyway, so it will be difficult to engage targets at big distances. Fiat only uses two types of high explosive ammunition, heat and hash. Both of them are not very predictable sources of damage. Heat at this battle rating is guaranteed penetration, though post-penetration damage is weak. One shots by heat shells happen when ammunition rack detonates, which doesn't happen very often. So usually you will need to shoot few times. That is a problem if opponent's gunner is alive after your first shot. You are unlikely to survive reload with armor like yours. Hesh, on the other hand, have huge post-penetration damage, but when facing heavy tanks, you cannot be sure if it will penetrate in the first place. The only thing you can be certain of is that spaced armor will absorb all projectiles damage completely. Since none of these ammunition types offer reliable kill, I can't count how many times after surviving my shells, opponents simply killed me with the help of machine gun since Fiat becomes completely defenseless for the duration of reload. So most of the time I was using hash projectiles with a mindset all or nothing. Maybe it doesn't penetrate like heat, 
but if it does that's often a one shot so you don't end up in the open waiting for your 10 seconds reload and watching how you get destroyed. Since vehicle doesn't have turret, smoke launchers are placed on hull, so when you need smoke cover it will be deployed in front, which might not always be that direction where you need smoke. In arcade you would expect light tanks to perform even worse. But in case of Fiat, you will be able to take advantage of your invincibility while hull is in cover even better, because markers will give you better understanding of what is happening around. You can safely stand behind cover and never be flanked. On the other hand, every tank will turn their armor towards you and there will be more heavy tanks in general, so Hess shells will not be able to penetrate them so easily. Most of the time in arcade I was hiding behind hills reloading, since most of the shots failed to do serious damage. For the same reason I always took maximum amount of ammunition into battles. Despite you still face the same threat from artillery or planes, I found vehicle a little bit more effective in arcade. I would rate the vehicle 4 wheels out of 10. Fiat 6614 is all about surprises, usually bad surprises. Its armor is unreliable just like its post penetration damage. You can be instantly hull broken or be killed by planes machine gun fire. And every time gun's barrel has to be rotated, there is a fear that in critical moment an obstacle on vehicle's roof will not let you shoot in required direction. On a good note, unusual gun's placement allows to completely hide whole vehicle behind a cover and leave only gun exposed. Yes, there are not many places where hate of the cover fits your vehicle perfectly and standing behind cover waiting for enemies to show up is not the funnest gameplay, but such option is at least available.